some of the conditions are of concern to us, and we are going to meet next week and uh, and try to work those those out. Uh, I didn't know that there was a, a lady here and a gentleman here that, that are concerned about it. They live, I believe, over to the east uh, of the property, but. Uh, I'd like to ask for a hold, and I guess she's objecting. Come on, Because I would like to have my voice heard. I introduce myself to her, and... Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to hear what they have to say, but we're going to entertain your hold. We're going to hear what they have to say, and we're also going to entertain your hold.
can't go ahead and uh, make a motion for the whole legal leeway. Okay, we'll go ahead and you want to make the whole Okay, all right. Uh, May I say this, please? I, I understood that we really agreed on the whole. I, my client's not here, my engineer's not here, I don't have anybody here. Oh, okay. Well, I appreciate that. Are, are we going to get, you know, are we going to actually get a notice this time? We say one block, so just to make sure. We did have somebody. I'm with the Sierra Club. Mm -hmm. We agree with a lot of the things you said, and I'd like to talk to you about it. Okay. They're not going to do anything until next month. They're not going to do anything anyway because they see a dollar sign. Well, we'll see. Yes, please do. Because I'm really aggravated. Y'all going to have to put up with Jaina running around with her gator, her little toy alligator squeaking around. Well, I'm back at family's house trying to rest up. Man, that was an eventful morning. We were there. It was about three hours before what we were going for finally showed up. Well, I'm glad to let me have my piece of, you know, let me say my say. <coughs> Boy, I rattled all of their cages. I watched all morning long uh, how the council people really <coughs> didn't pay attention to anybody that had been, you know, talking previously. I had every one of their attention. Everyone, I looked them all in the eye, and if you noticed, the guy came up and you heard him say, I'm from the Sierra Club, yeah, I got to contact him, he's upset. Towards the end of the clip, I don't know if you noticed the other gentleman walking up to me, well, I had ended the video, well, I should have kept it rolling, but I didn't, yeah, he's with the city. They're fixing to come out and do a bunch of investigating out there to see what they've tore up. So, and he was asking me about the floodplain. I said, he said, you know, they built some kind of barrier. I said, where'd they build it? He said, back towards the creek. I said, that's not where the floodplain comes from. I said, those people are not going to be protected from the floodplain because it comes from way off in front of across the highway and comes towards them. I said, it floods on a regular basis back here. I said, those people don't stand a chance with those trailers being back there. And they killed me. He, that attorney or whoever he was, kept trying to tell me, all oh, their modular homes. I said, sir, they're called trailers. That's exactly what they are. They're trailers. And he goes, well, they, you know, you can't just pick them up and leave. I'm like, oh, sir, do you not realize trailers are on uh, frames? All you have to do is put the tires on them if they take the tires off and roll right away. He, he looked at me and walked off. Now, this man harassed us for a little while before me going up there. That man was a nervous wreck after what all I said. And he kept coming over there, coming over. He's like going, ma'am, you do realize we had a Corps of Engineers survey and everything come in there. I said, really? I said, you trust the Corps of Engineers? Yes, ma'am. I said, well, I don't. I said, they brought kudzu to this country. So, yeah, there's, there's, there's a good one right there. He walked off. He couldn't take it. But, uh, the tall skinny man that come towards me at the end 
He's sending out, and he told me, he said, we're going to send out several teams to do investigations back there all around where they're planning on building. He said, there's some things they haven't been talking about. I said, yes, sir, there's a whole lot of things they have not been talking about. And it felt good when I was talking. I had every one of those council people watching me, looking me dead in the eyes as I looked at them. And I got their attention. I rattled the hornet's nest and their cages. Something's going to be done, and I'm hoping that it's put to a stop. I'm not against people having housing. I am against people not knowing that they're being duped into buying a plot of land that's going to flood almost yearly. I am against that. I am against all the... Where's the sewer going? Because the sewer system out there... It, it backs up and everything. It can't hold the load that's already there, pun intended. And, yeah, there's endangered plants back there. I didn't want to tell them exactly what they are, and if I have to, I'll play my trump card at the uh, meeting. Um, it's going to be April. So I've got to go back to that meeting again. And, of course, that's another... It cost... What was it? $18 to park. So, I gotta save up $18 to go back to another meeting. Which, I'll give another piece of my mind. But that man that's on the side for the building of the trailer park. Yeah, he kept coming over harassing me. He'd already got my other half's, you know, phone number to how to call him. And he's like, oh, ma'am, I want your information. I said, sir. You got his information. That's the information you need. You can get to me through there. So I expect this man is going to try to attempt to harass me. He just don't realize back in the day, I was one hell of an activist. And I'm not talking about crazy activists. I'm talking about uh, preserving nature, uh, sacred sites, and stuff like that. So yeah, I know exactly what to do. I know exactly what to say. I was trained very well. But yeah, I rattled the cages, rattled the hornet's nest, and you know what? I'm proud because I'm going to stand up for nature. I'm going to stand up for that property. And people who are going to be railroaded into buying plots of land where they're going to get flooded out. And it's not fair. And I want justice for everyone. And plus... I just don't like the thought of more trailers being built back there because we all know trailers attract. It's trailers are tornado candy. Trailers are tornado candy, people. And we have enough funnel clouds, and we've had a few tornadoes roll through there. What do you think it's going to do if they build and they're wanting to put? What is it, two, close to 260 trailers back there? Just imagine, yep. We think it's bad around there now. It's going to get a whole lot worse if that's, being, if that's built. But no, if you listen to the clip, he got to stuttering and going, I'm here by myself. My contractor and everybody's not, and my engineer is not here and blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to go, yeah, you're worried, aren't you? Because one voice, and this proves to y'all, one voice can move a mountain as long as you believe in what you're doing. And it's just, I'm not doing this to be hateful. I'm doing this for balance, for not only nature, but for also other humans. It's not right what they're building and if they think that little levy thing is going to protect those people from the creek, that creek's not what they have to worry about. It's what the big river down the road's going to do. And it has flooded several times back through there. But I just wanted to give you a heads up. <coughs> I'm going to rest because I'm tired. Uh, was a lot of walking to do this morning and then whoop, I'm kind of really full because mother half was very impressed about what I've done 
and how I rattled all their cages, and he took me out for lunch, a good lunch. But yeah, it was it was nice because I watched. I should have filmed some of the previous um, cases uh, that came up before us. The people that was you know uh, opposing the building plan, no emotion, no nothing. They just just looked off straight, didn't try to make on eye contact with nobody, and they lost all of those. Now, yes, he had already wanted to uh, pause for 30 days, but yeah, the council's eyes are open now. I'm looking forward to them investigating. I really am, and I hope they do, because they're going to find out that they've been fooled Let's see, this will be the third time. Yeah, they're going back there to investigate what all they've destroyed and see how things are being done. Well, guess what? Go for it. Because, like I said, it only takes one voice to sing to get the attention of everybody else. And by darn, I had that whole council paying attention to me. And I loved it when I asked them, do y'all know what endangered means? Now see, this is the weird part about government. You bring up endangered plants or endangered animals, and yeah, they'll reserve it. They'll reserve the land, but they do it for the dollar sign because they know they'll get extra money funneled to them. And they don't just realize they got the wool pulled over their eyes two times two yeah two times prior on the same development they've already built two small pieces of this development this latest one's going to be well no it's going to be a bigger one because i can't i don't know how many trailers is already built on the first two but this third and final push was to build 251 modular homes and yeah so this attorney or whoever he is is hot and heavy to talk to me and like I told him you got his information that's all you need you don't need mine you can contact me through him oh he didn't like that and he walked off he come back there and harassed me five different times then he the the fifth and final time that he came back there to harass me about stuff is when he heard me talking to the man from city government and he overheard and unfortunately unfortunately overheard him say that yes that they was going to start investigations back there so now this poor man might have a stroke out tonight but when you do stuff unjustly there's a price to pay well, I'm going to quit rambling because I'm tired. I'm fixing to make me some more coffee. I'm going to relax for a while and get this video posted. I hope you all enjoy this video. And remember, you can move mountains. You've just got to show emotion and be truthful about it. I knew to show emotion because that's how you get people to respond to you. If you just... Be, if you're monotone, they, they can care less what you have to say. They proved that earlier, and that's why I showed some emotion. Don't get me wrong. Yes, I am very emotional about this whole crap, because that was woods I used to walk in. There was places where I saw deer. That's where the raccoons used to live that are now terrorizing me over where I'm at. And... There was some very, very important and endangered plants that was destroyed by the bulldozer blade. And like I said, I didn't tell them what kind of plants, but they knew there were some endangered plants over there. I poked the bull, shook that hornet's nest real good, and we'll see what will happen within 30 days' time. And, of course, I'll bring you back for uh, the video update on that one, too. Everyone, take care.
stay positive. You can move mountains too. Just do it truthfully and do it for the right reasons. Everyone take care. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. And may you each be blessed. See you soon.